So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a World Expo. And it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025, which also happens to be held in Osaka, Japan. The same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots, which is Erica, and her creator, Professor, the mad scientist, Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020, it was held in Dubai. In 2030, it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea. But in 2025, the expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this you out. met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seem improbable, but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025 Osaka, Kansai, Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine. We humans, we've come a long way to get where we are today. Looking back, it's hard to believe what we have achieved. What drives us forward? What spurs us on? It's our insatiable need to learn and know, to do and grow, to twiddle and tweak, and 2.0. We humans, we're never done. We've made monuments and cut through continents, mastered human flights, sent up satellites, walked in outer space, created user interface, built cities on sand, turned sea into land, and still, we're not done. We made levitating trains and open world games, constructed super towers and grids for solar power, made houses smart, turned food into art, built self-driving cars and taught bots to play guitars. But no, we're not done. We found cures for disease, performed symphonies, probed the ocean floors, made machines do our chores, deconstructed quarks, studied great white sharks, sequenced our genomes and even 3D printed homes. Are we done yet? Oh no, we're not done. In fact, we need to do even more than ever before. Our planet is in need of help. There are challenges we can't ignore. But remember, we are humankind. No job's too big if we set our minds. If we all embrace the spirit that there really is no limit. If we rise to this occasion and come together across nations. If we integrate and ideate. We... Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you, you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Lithium polymer batteries are becoming the most popular type of batteries for use in robotics because of their lightweight, high discharge rates, and relatively good capacity. Most lithium ion batteries cost anywhere between $10 and $20,000, depending on the device it powers, while an electric vehicle battery is the most expensive, typically costing anywhere between $5,000 and $20,000. So would it make sense to mass produce female robots or human-like robots for the future or for sale as a common necessity, toy, or aid in various tasks? Of course, in this scenario, we're talking about artificial intelligence and fully autonomous human-like robots. Well, robots combine sensors, computation, and motors to interact intelligently with their environment. 
And when we think of robotics in toys, for instance, toys need to be so cheap and robust that they can be used as playthings. While there is a long history of toys that look like robots, only recently has the cost of computation dropped significantly to allow the sale of truly functional robotic toys. This entry focuses on three examples of this new generation of toys that should be of interest from the ethics perspective. We're talking about Lego robot construction sets, interactive robotic pets, and various robotic dogs that assist elderly and comfort to those who wish to have a pet but are not able to care for the real thing. So shouldn't human-like robots, female robots, love dolls with artificial intelligence be classified or put in this category? Of course, a quick Google search, a credit card, and less than a thousand dollars, you can have a love doll sent discreetly to your house within a few days, but not without a lithium battery and an artificial intelligent brain. In 2021, when Tesla first unveiled its humanoid robot concept, which we know today as Optimus, it was just a human inside a robot suit. But in 2022, Tesla's founder and CEO Elon Musk unveiled two very real humanoid robot prototypes. The first was Bumble C, who walked across the stage at Tesla AI Day 2022, like it was trying not to wake a sleeping baby. That day on stage was the first time Bumble C walked untethered. Elon Musk admitted to the crowd nothing that the robot could do, of course, do more, though he and his team didn't want to risk Bumble C falling on its face. But then came Optimus, who was the real star of the show, which was revealed for the first time looking like a modern take on a medieval knight. Unable to walk, it was wheeled out onto stage where it waved to the audience and did a quick dance move while propped up on a stand. Elon Musk described the prototype design as fairly close. He also mentioned that one day, mass produced, these robots would help millions of people and do a lot of useful things. Today, we know that Optimus is a humanoid robot designed by Tesla as they work towards a future where humans can live and interact side by side with robots. The team at Tesla said when these robots go in mass production, they will cost less than a car, which is still a pricey concept when we think about things. Meanwhile, in China, the Xiaomi brand has developed the Cyber One robot to rival Elon Musk's Tesla bot. And from what we've seen, Xiaomi is well far advanced, as the robot could actually walk and interact. Slap some humanoid skin on there, and you've got a truly human-like robot. Developed with Sense depth vision module and combined with an AI interaction algorithm, Cyber One is capable of perceiving 3D space as well as recognizing individuals, gestures, and expressions, allowing it not only to see but to process its environment. But all of that technology and artificial intelligence doesn't come at a cheap price because Cyber One will run you anywhere between 600,000 to 700,000 Chinese yuan which is equivalent to about 82,000 US dollars. Four times the price of what Tesla and Elon Musk are promising the Tesla bot will cost when in production. In short, we can use a lithium battery as a high performance alternative to a standard alkaline battery in many cases and in robotics and in human-like robots. However, the benefits come at a cost. Lithium is a more expensive technology, which means a higher price point. So maybe it really is best to stick to the alkaline batteries. Well, until there is a mass-produced human-like female robot out there sitting at the same price points as the love dolls that we can afford today, we're talking about that quick Google search, a credit card, and less than $1,000, and having a discreet love doll sent to your house within a matter of days. 
then the AI powered brains are just concepts to think about for the future. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.